Back in 2005, a Batman Begins game launched alongside Christopher Nolan's film. Oddly enough, fans never got a sequel to that, even when The Dark Knight came out, though. But this doesn't mean that one wasn't in development. Thanks to Unseen 64, we have details on a Dark Knight game that never saw the light of day. The game would have been called Batman The Dark Knight, and it was being developed by Pandemic Studios, the same group behind the original Star Wars Battlefront and Mercenaries Playground of Destruction games. Unfortunately, the open-world Batman game was rife with problems. The video claims that sticking to a schedule proved difficult for the developer as it missed its intended release alongside The Dark Knight hitting theaters. The acquisition by Electronic Arts made things even more complicated. The company set a new release date for the movie tie-in around December 2008 when the film would come to home video. But it was clear that the studio wouldn't hit that release date either, and the developer's Brisbane, Australia office was shut down. The cancelled game left EA with a bill of $100 million. Pandemic's final game was called Saboteur, which had players liberating an occupied France from the Nazis. If you want to know more about this cancelled Batman game, check out Unseen 64's video on YouTube. But if it's more gaming news you're after, you're already in the right place.